You can only talk about the internet so long before you have to talk about the web. And that's where we are. So the web is, in many ways, the primary way that we experience the internet. The web won. The web took over. Uh, the web consists of names, protocols, and a markup language. And those names have spread to other uses. The protocols are used all over the place by web browsers, by applications that run on your phone, uh, by standalone applications that are just trying to move data from place to place. Um, and the markup language has gotten more sophisticated and more powerful over time. So, you know, the, the web won. The web is how we experience the internet. It's by far the most exciting thing online. Um, and the web, you know, is really taking over in many ways some of the traditional roles that desktop computers play. So you might think today, what's the application that you can't live without on your computer? It's your web browser. Because the web browser has become your email client. The web browser became your music client, maybe. The web browser became your document editor if you use tools like Google Docs. Um, so, so much of what we do now is done in the browser. So much is done using the web. Um, that the web has really not only taken over the internet, but it's really defining our modern experience of what it means to compute and what it means to use a computer. So the web's an exciting space, a lot to talk about, uh, and uh, lots, lots going on, lots of things that are continuing to evolve, um, and very exciting ways in which it's changing all the world around us.